the 12 influenza deaths and the 233 pneumonia-related deaths is what's been quoted on the death certificate, but that could be higher. This year, we're seeing nearly four times the number of flu cases than a year ago. And in some cases, they have led to hospital stays, outbreaks, and death. The flu season got off to an early start, and our area has been hit hard. The North Dakota Department of Health says so far, there have been more than 3,000 confirmed cases of flu, compared to about 800 this time last year. We have seen 155 influenza-related hospitalizations for the season, and then um, 12 deaths related to influenza. Cumulative so far for the season, I guess we've seen 23 reported outbreaks of influenza like illnesses and long-term assisted basic care or group home settings. We've also received two reports of influenza day outbreaks in child care settings. Outbreaks in child care settings are a problem in Minnesota. The state is reporting more than 110 new school outbreaks this week alone, 226 this season overall. So what does it take to close school to stop an outbreak? Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall spoke to local schools about their procedures and what parents can do to help. She joins us live in the studio. Veronica? When it comes to closing school to stop the spread of the flu, it all comes down to where you live. In Moorhead, school nurses increase their monitoring of the situation once student absences reach 5%. They can then reach out to the Department of Health to analyze the situation and make a recommendation. In Fargo and West Fargo, the school districts say they do not have a policy on closing school due to illness. So what can you do as a parent to stop the spread and protect your children and others? Health experts say don't be afraid of oversharing. Oftentimes, secretaries, um, when a parent calls in, will ask those questions if they have a temperature, what their temperature is, if they're coughing, if they have a sore throat. It's really helpful if they can share symptoms so that um, they can see if there's a trend in a particular classroom. Another tip, keep your child home 24 hours after their fever has broken and fever-reducing medication has left their system. Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live.